Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leslie, behind the camera is my brother Jordi, and we are still in Italy. We're hitting up so many incredible spots, and today we have a palace for you guys. I filmed a few palaces before, but never ever have I filmed a palace with stuff inside of it. This, this place is completely filled with the belongings of the people that once lived here. They left the place in 2000. But before then, there were other people living in this place. This was going from royal family to royal family to royal family. And the last people that lived here were uh, Donelli. Yes, that was their surname. So we're going to take a look at Donelli, their home. Uh, they had a lot of children. There are a lot of bedrooms upstairs. But the first thing we walk into is their kitchen. As you can see, it's a very traditional Italian kitchen. Everything is left behind. Very basic, actually, but still pretty nice for a palace. Let's go around the place. We start off with the fridge over here. I left some things behind. There's a red roll in the fridge, okay. The stove and the dishes and all the things that left behind. As you can see, this is a calendar from the year 2000, the last year that this, that this palace was inhabited. We can see the Pope over here in the Vatican, in Rome. We're actually not that far from Rome, like a few hours from Rome, so uh, yeah. These people over here, they were very religious. See, their last dishes are still in the sink, not washed yet. It's pretty amazing to see. These are 20 years old. The fireplace over here with the irons. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the, the job that these people did. So, they were very wealthy people and they had a farm over here in Italy. They had an olive farm and a wine farm and these people had a lot of servants. So they had one of the biggest wine farms and olive farms in all of Italy and they had a lot of servants working for them and that's how they could afford a palace like this. This place is huge. I know from the kitchen it doesn't seem like a real palace but we're going to show it in a minute. We have this, this is a meat slicer because you can see it from the sharp edge of the blade. When it has a, a, a knocks and a little corners in it, a little knocks in it, then it's a, a, for bread. But this one is for meat. Okay, this stove is always so nice. These wood stoves. It took a pretty long time to heat up your food on these ones. Okay, let's go to the next room. This was the room where the man of the family or the woman don't want to judge, uh, write out her bills, made her, uh, made her, uh, yeah, co co counted her money and stuff like that and did all the business over here. Maybe they even invited people that had business meetings in here, and stuff like that. We have a, a beautiful television over here. There's some white on there, don't know what that is. A telephone up here, a radio. Some incredible stuff left behind. This is one of the children of the family. La family, Donelli. Oh, this desk is so, so nice. I just love it with these religious books lying up here. La Divina Commedia. It's the history of Italy. Then we have these feathers standing in this wine bottle, in this wine jar. It's a pretty nice for a picture. Before we go upstairs, we're gonna check out the other side of the palace. And this is the first room over here that I quite, quite like, because this was the bathroom. Oh, traditional Italian bathroom with a bit there, the toilet, and the, no, the, the vacuum in between there. Don't film in the toilet, it's just disgusting. The vacuum cleaner over here is so amazing. These are from the 1950s, I believe. Maybe a little bit earlier. Even the shampoo bottles, the hairspray. Look at the hairspray over here. It's completely decaying. The shampoo bottles are still there. And on this side, look at this. Old school hair dryer. <laughs> Even a little sign that you can drop it in the bottom. Seashells. 
works into the wall and there's a little Maria down here. Wow. Look at this, the medicine, medicine and towel closet. So amazing this place. A few medicines in here. Let's go over here. And then we have one of the first bedrooms, first of many, because there are like six or seven bedrooms in this place. But this has a lot of, of pictures inside of it. That's what I want to show in this bedroom. We were looking at the pictures and we can presume that these three children are the same. And this, they had like two or three children, the last family that lived here. This is the farmer, we believe, together with his wife. Here they're married. This is the man and his old day. If we compare the faces, we can see that they are almost the same. So this this got to be the same person. They also had a little box here. So I presume this was an engagement ring for them. So they were a married couple, presumably with two children. The man was a farmer, the woman did maybe the house stuff. But in the earlier days, when the former families lived here, this was really like a, a big, big farm with, with servants. And, and uh, yeah, this was crazy over here. But afterwards, these people, they're just a small family living in this big palace. As you can see, we have the bed over here with the Pope above the bed. Typically for Italy, Italian people are so religious. They respect their Pope because it's of course in their own country. I just love how the bed is made for 20 years. The closets are empty, but they are still pretty nice. I wanna check out this room, Jordi. It's pretty dark in here. See, this is always the case in these abandoned buildings in Italy. You have these electricity boxes that are turned off, but the power still works for some reason, but the lights never work. In Belgium, we always see that the lights still work in buildings, but not the power. Here, the power still works. Yeah, I have to always switch on the power in Belgium. It's pretty crazy. What do we got over here? Some outlets. Hmm, some clothes from the people. Then we have a little vanity of the woman. Some perfume bottles on here. Amagin de Givenchy. Givenchy. Hmm. Old school television on there. And then from the office we walk into one of the most amazing rooms that I've ever seen in all the years that I've been urbexing. This, this room is just insane and incredible. This used to be their living room and here they spend all the nights with the family in France. You can see over there the whole roof has collapsed. This is about 10 meters high from here. And it just all came down and fell to the floor. As you can see, there's a pile of rocks over there. So it's pretty dangerous walking in here. So we gotta be careful that the roof doesn't collapse any further. But yeah, look at the entrance over here, Jordi. It's just magnificent. This is probably where they came into the palace where they welcomed the guest, maybe at some parties, stuff like that. The first thing we see is this vintage cabinet with these little drawings. They are all oh, they are made into here. Wow. This is a handmade cabinet with specially made drawings. You can see here the date from the drawings. Is, this is a drawing from 1714. You can see how the life used to be there back then. Also had some books over here. Harmony Destiny, Italian book. It's insane. And then we have these few sofas standing over here. With a beautiful picture wall behind it. Let's see what pictures we got on the wall. This old man, I don't know where they're from or who made them. They're pretty special. Lights up the room nicely. Look at the statue over here. His head is loose. If I bump it, it breaks, I think. 
But yeah, I want to take a closer look at these doors over here. This artwork, the eagle on top of there. I'm not sure if it is an eagle, but it's pretty special. Oh, and you can see underneath of the eagle, there's some sort of a, a monster, maybe an ape or something like that, worked into the, into the marble. Is it marble or is it stone? No, it's stone. Because I, um, the palace was built in the 18th century, um, but the rooms have been added later by other different families. But I think this was one of the first rooms that has been built, so it's from the 18th century. Back then they couldn't carve marble so well, or it was really, really expensive, so they decided to use stone inside of this place. Okay, now from the big palace room, we walk into this beautiful bedroom. I'm gonna close the doors, so you can get a perspective of the doors and everything. Now we are inside of the bedroom. This was also a children's bedroom, a children's bedroom to my opinion. You can see the first thing we find here is like a little agenda. They wrote some things in there. Appointments that they gotta go to. Got the vanity over here. This is actually a pretty small vanity. A lot of perfume bottles also were left over here. This might have been from the children. They got a little smaller vanity for them. A little comb to crush their hair in the morning and stuff like that. They got two beds in here. Still made bed, old traditional beds. I really love the design and the crown of the bed here. It's a pretty nice piece. You can see that not a lot of people have been in this place because there are a lot of cobwebs. I'm walking straight underneath one of the most beautiful chandeliers that I've ever seen. Wow. Can you also film the walls, Johnny? Because there's a lot of paint on them. That's something that the Italians love to do in their beautiful homes. They love to design the ceilings and the walls with incredible artwork, all handcrafted. Look at this, look at this piano, the tiles on, they have shrimped, they're just decaying. Is there some? Some keys are still working. This is an Italian piano. Okay, we're now upstairs. This is a pretty creepy hallway actually, for a palace. You'd expect a really beautiful designed ha hallway, but it's not the case over here. We have uh, another bedroom over here, a double bedroom. Let's see what we can find in here. See there's horses? Yeah, it's some sort of a horse racing game. 1866 horse racing. That's how it used to look like. People were dressed up. Nowadays they have these, these sports clothes on, but you can see this man is, is just wearing his uniform and his hat, and this one as well. This is how they did horse races back then. Wow. It's a pretty small bedroom actually. Another picture of a woman over here. You can see the decay in this place. The whole wall has cracked. This hallway is pretty incredible. This one was not so special, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. But over here, we have a train set from the people that lived here, from the children. They used to play with this, they built this. It's so incredible to see. They have like an Italian village over here. See, these are typical Italian houses. They have a castle built over here. Then they used to ride their trains over here, their model trains. Back there used to be a mountain. Wow. There are also some pots and pans up here. Let's see, these are cookie jars. Mm, that can't open them anymore. But, uh, like a teapot over here. And then for the last thing, what we're going to show is they of course had a farm and they had to store their grains and their olives and everything somewhere. So that's in the basement and it's pretty special over there. Let's go there right now.
The first thing I want to show you in this incredible place, the basement is here to the left. This is where they used to store wine. This is probably not the only place where they stored wine. They maybe had facilities to store their wine. But this is where they stored maybe their own wine. You can see all the bottles are left behind. It's very typical to put empty bottles like this so they can uh, drain out and uh, dry out. Wow. That's a pretty special basement shot. You see with the arch style over here. For the most part on this side, it's not that much to see. So we're gonna go to the other side. Then we walk into the main part of the basement. Pre-prepared, this is huge. First thing we see here is an old school bicycle. I love to see those. Wow. This thing is ancient. <laughs> What's this? This is a well. Wow. Look at that. You can see that on the camera. No way. Let me drop a little stone in there. <laughs> That's deep, man. That's deep, that. And a well inside of that basement. Maybe to rinse off the olives, maybe to rinse off the, uh, the grapes, something like that, for the servants to work on that so they didn't have to grab water all the time. These were storage facilities over here. Yeah, they stored uh, their, their goods. And then we walk into another part of the basement. The basement runs underneath the whole palace. I love these pillars, look at those. They're holding up the structure of the palace. Then we have a horse carriage over here. Look at this. I think it's a barrel wagon, but I'm not quite sure by the name. This is an old school one and it still rides. This is how the servants used to go to the fields, get the grapes, come back, empty them, go back to the field. Oh, this is truly a piece of history. I'm gonna put it back where I found it, back here. See what there is on their side, on that side of the basement. I think this is, this is it for the most part. They had some huge beams. These are the beams from the palace, from the from the, from the big room that we saw. There is our structural structural beams. But yeah. Okay, then there's one more thing I want to show, and that's outside. Let's go there. So now I'm gonna open up the last present for you guys in this video. These be two beautiful wooden doors reveal an incredible chapel. For the people to pray in. How did they get up here? Up here? Oh yeah, there's a door over there, but you can't enter through that. So, yes, that was it. We filmed the most beautiful parts of this palace. Um, I think it was a pretty special place with incredible history. I want to thank you very, very much for watching this week's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Support us a little bit on Patreon. The link will be in the description. And also uh, check us out on Instagram because we post every uh, adventure that we go to. You can follow us live on the road and see what we are up to. So with that all said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week guys. Bye bye. Love you.